Please, guys, before we go any further, please do me a favor by clicking that like button right now. Smash it! Because the more you smash it, the more my video gets out there. It really helps a lot. Thanks for that. Have you done it? Appreciate it. What's going on, guys? You already know it's your boy, M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. Man, I have some exciting news for you guys today, man. When I tell you things are happening in this world, trust me, things are happening. Can you just. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to show you, man. Anyways, this post says 15 year old DR Congo footballer wins the best player at CAF under 16 African School Champions Cup. See the person that is under 16. The, see, see, the, see the 15 year old person. Please. <laughs> my viewers watching does this person look like he's 15 years old what is wrong with us africans everything corruption everything kilo day and let me show you the the kids that this guy that calls himself 15 year 15, 15 year old guy the kids that his team played against this is the team this is the team that they played against and how do you expect them not to win like everything is just a joke now to these people they didn't verify anything what is wrong with those africans man why would you call this person a 15 year old does this look like 15 year old? i need okay let me even read the story like it's just, it's crazy i saw this on instagram and i was like you know what i gotta react to this bro like how are they not gonna win that thing is just i've just been laughing since man since i saw this story on instagram elia balambao a 15 year old footballer from the democratic republic of the congo has been named the best player at the 2022 calf under 16 african school cup balangwabo who was the captain of his team was named the tournament's most valuable player after his team defeated senegal under 16 team in kinshasa drc can you just imagine someone that probably has four three four kids already a 30 year old what am i even saying 30 year a 40 year old looking man that calls himself a 15 year old a 15 year old how is that possible oh so it's even dr congo that <laughs> that organized the event about jaw so it says dr congo did a great job organizing this event which is the first edition of a fantastic competition that is going to become one of the biggest not only in africa but around the world too what a joke let me know what you guys think in the comment section this is a this is a this is a joke this is an extreme joke let's get to the next uh the next exciting news i have for you now back to nigerian pastors you know what i'm saying you your uh pastor pastor david ibiomi or what what is his name pastor david ibiomi he said you are a criminal if you don't pay tight <sighs> I just have to pause for a second. You are a criminal if you don't pay tithes. How? Like, how? wait, let me even read the story. How are you a criminal if you don't pay tithes? What is really wrong with some of these, uh, these so-called Nigerian pastors? It, it's, it's, because it's gone to a level where you are even calling people criminals because they are not giving you money. Who is the criminal here? No, who is the criminal? Like, I don't understand what is really going on, man. And they call themselves pastors. God mercy. See what see what the man see what the, see what the guy said. David Ibiomi, the senior pastor of Salvation Ministries, says Christians who don't pay tithe are criminals committing a punishable offense. How? Okay. Sarah reporters report that the cleric said this while preaching in his church on Sunday, February 20, 2022. According to him, tax is the government's share. So you don't say I want to give the government my tax you say you want to pay tax that is how tight is god's own leviticus he put leviticus the verse leviticus 27 verse 30 there god is the owner of the tithe. so what do you do you pay it's only in nigeria you don't pay tax and they can leave you in the western world is a big criminal offense if you don't pay tight you are a criminal your offense is punishable tight is simply one tenth of your income 10 percent of your income goes to god so mr david or whatever okay pastor let's put it that way pastor david Ibiomi. so you are telling me right by giving you this title 
it means you are going to give it to God or what? Make me understand that part. No, giving you the tithe means I'm giving to God, right? What's wrong with giving that money to the poor? What's wrong with giving that money to the less privileged? But you just want us to bring it to you, and then you go. Do you have, you have the number of God? Have you? <laughs> you have the telephone number of God. You just call God. Okay, ah, God, you. Yeah, I want, I want, I want, yeah, They have paid tight, so I'm coming to give it to you. A lot of them are thieves. Why are you doing this to our people? Extorting people, trying to titrate them. Why? <laughs> like people, it's high time people open their eyes, bro. Especially in a country like Nigeria. Nigeria is my country. And we have to speak the truth. This is getting sad. Punishable offense. Where is it written in the Bible that not paying your tithe is a punishable offense? Where does it say that in the Bible? Please let me know, Mr. David. It be on me. You just want to collect people's money and just be spending it and just love it spending, Abby. Koda. Few people need to change. And Nigerians are doing all this, they are falling victim. You people need to open your eyes. You need to open your eyes. And that's that about that, man. And the last, the last news that I'm bringing to your hearing. A 102 year old woman wants to run for the Nigerian presidency. <sighs> God of mercy. Who did this to us Africans, man? Who did this to us? Someone should tell me in the comments, please. A 102 year old woman, a Jokini Ru Yanfeshi. The living legend is now one of people who have indicated interest to vie for the number one <laughs> position in Nigeria come 2023. The living legend who spoke through the president said she is ready to contest for the position <laughs> of president of the largest country in Africa if the younger generation are not ready. If Nigerians are shying away from the political participation. She says she is ready to set the pace to contest. No, no. How the question is how will she improve the economy? What is she going there to do? Please make me understand this part. What is she bringing to improve the economy of the country? A 102. This is 102 year old woman. A jokini yanfewashi. What is going on with people? Why greed? Even at that age. Ah! Hey, God. There's a lot going on in Nigeria, man. May God have mercy on Nigeria. Ah! People. 102. Do you know since when they've been saying this? The youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Since when? Till today, we've not seen any youth in, in the in the in the presidential seat. So when I when is that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow statement going to come to pass? Please make me understand that part. The other day we saw Tinubu saying that uh coach president delay. No, can you touch it? You can because he was saying in English, basically Tinubu, one of the presidential aspirants. He said this, let me first become the president of Nigeria. After my reign as the president, then the youth can become president. Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? Man, I really don't know what's going on, man. But anyways, I just wanted to come here, just let you guys know, you know, about this news. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments in the comment section like you always do. And uh, and also follow me on Instagram too, you know what I'm saying? Send videos that you would love for me to react to to my DM on Instagram and I will definitely reply to your messages. Thank you for love and support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.